Joe Hopkins here, and I'll tell you what, man, a little while ago, or this was a little while ago, I did a video. I did a video on my picks, like, you know, the best budget guitars I could find for under $200. Under 200 bucks, right? And one of my subscribers made a suggestion. Could you do a video like that on bass guitars? And I thought, yeah, sure, that's actually a really great idea. Reason being, right, I, I play guitar. A lot of my uh, subscribers and viewers here, you all play guitar. If you play guitar, you can play bass. It is a bass guitar. That's what it is. It's very similar. And any of us that get into home recording, you need a bass. That's one of the first things I bought after buying some recording equipment. You know, I got one of those recording packages, came with an interface and a microphone and the headphones and the whole kit and caboodle. And I realized very quickly, I need a bass. So I bought a bass and an electric keyboard. Those are kind of two things you need. You can kind of make do without the keyboard, especially with MIDI, you can program stuff, but you really, really need a bass. I mean, I guess you could do without it. You could do synth bass and stuff like that, but it's good to have a bass. So anyway, I went through uh, and took a look at, well, bass guitars, 200 bucks or less. And there's a, there's a good reason to look at budget basses. Uh, when I first started recording, I bought a Squire J bass, right? I got it used for 200 bucks. It's one of the, the best things you can do. Go look at pawn shops, music stores, look at the used stuff. I mean, some guy bought it, played it a couple times and returned it. So he took two, or 50 bucks off. He took 50 off at the store because it was technically used. So it was 250, then he sold it to me for 200 bucks. Now, I took a look. The Squire basses are a little bit more expensive than that these days. And so are a lot of other things. It's worth, if you're looking for a bass, take a look at Musicians Friends, Sweetwater, Amazon even. Take a look at those places. You can find good stuff there. But I've got a list of basses here. I'll, I'll start off, I'll mention, my first pick is Harley Benton. And I have my Harley Benton five-string bass here. I own two basses. I got my Squire and I bought this five string bass when I bought a seven string guitar. Because seven string guitar, it goes down to B, and the bass goes down to B, they kind of go together. But Harley Benton's got other stuff. Let's take a look at the laptop here. Okay, here's got uh, Toman Music up. By the way, I'll put links to all these sites in the description below, so that, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna go to their site, you can find the stuff. I already brought up basses, Harley Benton, all that stuff, uh, you know, you go to Toman Music, you gotta look through their inventory there, but you can see they got a MB5 five-string bass for $111. And I think most of the people watching this channel know, Harley Benton's pretty good stuff, you know, 111 bucks, they tend to have good stuff, and that's for a five-string. $102 for uh, their four-string bass there. They got their PJ74 VW Vintage Series for $155. Uh, that's the four-string version of, of the bass I bought from them. I bought the five-string one, and I can tell you that that is a good bass. If the four-string is as good as their five-string, and I'm assuming it is. Let's see, $135, $111. 135 Top seller. Look at that. That's a uh, J style, you know, J bass. They got different kinds of basses. J bass, P bass, PJ bass, all that kind of stuff. 169 for their violin bass style. If you want to be like, you know, Paul McCartney. They might even have it in left-handed if you, you're left-handed like Paul McCartney. Uh, 95 bucks. Look at that. A standard J bass. $95. $169 for one of their crazy looking things here. That's their Deluxe Series. What kind of pickups are on their Deluxe Series? I'm just kind of curious. Those look like humbuckers. Are they active? No, but it's the Roswell humbuckers. I got the Roswell pickups on my base that I got from them, and they're really good. So Roswell makes pretty good pickups, and that's what they put in a lot of the Harley Bentons. Oh, you got one of those Rickenbacker style ones for just around 200 bucks. Now keep in mind, uh, most of these companies also charge shipping, but it, I mean, at these prices, dude, those are pretty good prices. Let's see, Deluxe Series 4 and 5 string, 119 bucks for this. What is in this one? 
Uh, it's a PJ. Does it... Where does it say about the... Let's see, about the pickups. We're all worried about the pickups. Because, you know... Alright, I... Don't see it on there. Just says PJ style pickup. PJ style pickup configuration. So that's like their standard pickups. But you get the idea. Harley Benton has some stuff that's really cheap. We got a base kit. If you want to build your own base, 85 bucks, not bad. 211, if you want to go a little over 200, they got a five string crazy looking thing here, but it looks like we're getting in over 200 bucks now. So let's go to the next one. We got Xavier, right? I've bought a couple of Xavier guitars. I bought an electric and I bought an acoustic and they're both excellent, both six string guitars regular guitars and they're really good so they're worth looking at you can see their prices about 209 so it's around 200 bucks they got their uh, J bases yeah 209 dollars I know they they use their GFS pickups in most of their guitars I think all of them so I'm assuming these have that too here we're down to 200 bucks on the PJ Let's see if it says whether or not it has their GFS pickups on it. Let's see, let's see, GFS PB Pro Alnico pickups, yeah. And by the way, uh, guitar fetish, one thing a lot of people, uh, honey's giving me things, one thing a lot of people might want to know, you can get $10 off a case if you buy a case with it, and they do have some pretty cool cases. It's just got the little picture there. But you can see they got the psychedelic paisley, camo, checkerboard, linen, tweed, all kinds of different stuff. Uh, when I bought my acoustic guitar from them, I got a real psychedelic paisley case. Really cool looking. But you can see they have bases around $200. And I think they have ones that cost a bit more. Yeah, $250, $300 for the ones with humbuckers. You know, that's a little bit over that $200 price range. But if, if you got the money, and they got these really cool ones made by Slick Guitars. They sell Slick Guitars, too. Those are like $270. But they're really cool looking. I got to say, uh, if you're looking to spend another $70, bucks, that's pretty badass. Single P bass, you know, single pickup, yeah, P bass, really good looking though, good looking bass guitar. So that's guitarfetish.com. Now, I went over to Guitars Garden. Firefly does make a bass now. Looks like a P bass style, or P, P, J, P, J style with the P bass pickup and the J bass pickup. 170 bucks. And I gotta say that uh, Firefly, I've, I own a Firefly guitar, and it's really good. People love these Firefly guitars. So I'd be kind of interested to see how their bass is. In fact, next guitar I buy, I might get one of their basses and review it. You guys, let me know. Do you want me maybe to review a bass guitar? You know, I've only, I only own two basses. I could use some more. So let's go over to Glary. Glary Guitars, I bought a Glary Burning Fire electric guitar, and I really like it, right? That was like 100 bucks For a $100 guitar, it's great. But they also sell basses. And they have, let's see, 120 to 130 bucks depending on the style. That looks like a PJ. P bass, 100 to 110 What we got here? J bass, 105 to 110 roughly. They got the different styles on here. Is that pretty much, yeah, that's the price range we're looking at. That's under 150 for most of them here. It goes up a little bit. They got, oh, they got a, a burning fire base. That's like the guitar I bought. Let's bring it up here, but as a bass guitar with humbuckers. That's pretty cool. So let's see, do they have it that? Yeah, that looks just like my, uh, burning fire guitar I bought, but as a bass. So that that's pretty cool. For 160 bucks? For that, that's not bad at all. And you can see Glary is pretty, pretty cheap. And you see it says US free shipping. So if you're in the US, 
It's free shipping. If you need a bass guitar, and, or you're just learning the bass and you want to get something quick and cheap, that might be the way to go. Let's go over to Rondo. Rondo Music sells SX, which I just bought an SX and reviewed it, and it is amazing. They also sell uh, Hey Dean and Agile, which those brands cost a little bit more, but let's take a look. They got the Hey Dean Bass Uke for 160 bucks. I do like those little bass ukes. Right, those are nice little things to play around with. They got a couple different ones, 180, 185. You see, it's all still under 200. 195 for the SX, that's the left-handed one. Uh, let's see, here's a right-handed one. Right-handed uh, J-Bass, 200 bucks. And then it goes up a little bit from there. But you can see, I like that little violin uke, bass uke there. That's cool. And then you get up to ones that are like pushing 300 bucks. And this one's 350. Woo. SX Ursa. Oh, that's a six string bass. That's why it's probably more, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's go back up here. All right, guys. So of the brands that I kind of frequent, a lot of them make bass guitars. I really like the look of Hard Luck King's basses as well. I didn't put them on here because I, I didn't see any that were like 200 bucks or less, right? But they're pretty close to it. So they'd be worth checking out too. In general though, that's a pretty good, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Five websites that have bases that are 200 bucks or less. I'd say uh, it's worth checking out if you need a base. I've reviewed stuff from all of these websites before and so far, all the guitars I've bought from them are really, really good in general. So I'm assuming their bass guitars are holding to the same quality. I, I know Harley Benton does because I did buy one of their basses. And it, it's as good as any of their guitars. It's an excellent bass. I like it. I like playing it. And I've recorded with it. I've done a lot of stuff with it. It, it plays great. So anyway, tell me what you think. And if you have any suggestions, is there anything you guys want me to check out or, you know, take a look at for you, uh, kind of share my knowledge on, and uh, subscribe to my channel, because you should, because you guys are awesome, and, and your awesomeness brings more awesomeness to, you know, to this, this realm over here. And uh, here at the end, I'm going to have some playlists come up, man. Check out my reviews playlist if you want to see reviews on the, on the various guitars I've reviewed, including bass guitars, and, uh, you know. I even got songs I've recorded with the, you know, if you hear, listen to one of my songs, I recorded it with my Squire or with my Harley Benton on the bass. Uh, I think there's like one or two where I use synth bass, but everything else, you know, I, I'm using one of these two guitars. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. I love you guys. Peace out, baby. Bye-bye.